I'm under campaigns. You see here the blue link and this tab. All online campaigns. I'm going to click. My, my focus was to change the display network, but I might not do that now. It's, it's just... It's, it's, a, it's a lot to absorb and learn. I, I'm clicking on settings and I'm going to click check the box because I want to edit this campaign and I want you to see this. If I click on this, well I place my cursor where the, it says networks and I place the cursor over the question mark, the display network shows ads on over a million sites and apps that partner with Google, as well as Google sites like Blogger, Google Finance, Gmail, and YouTube. They now show ads on Gmail accounts. Originally, I was trying to switch it to the search network, show ads on Google search sites, including Google search shopping maps and images. I really don't want my ads on maps or images. So I'm going to leave it on display network. I was so focused on switching it, I'm leaving it because they've come a long way since the last time I bought AdWords advertising. So this works out good. Show ads on over a million sites and apps that partner with Google as well as on Google sites like Blogger, Google Finance, Gmail, and YouTube. I like that. I'll do that. So I'm going to leave that. I am going to click it. And it's set to that, so I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to fuss with it anymore. I really did try to change it, but I'm really happy I got a little deeper into it because I don't want my ad on maps. If people are looking for directions, in my opinion, they're not looking to find digital coupons. So that choice is up to you. I'm going to click on all online campaigns again. I'm going to uncheck this because I want to keep this as is. $12.10 a day. I have it set 6 a.m. for the, my ad to show bet between the hours of 6 a.m. and 3 p.m. I have a cost per click strategy. Display network. United States English. Awesome. Now if I Click on here, Saving Star Affiliate Link. That's my name of the group, Add Group. It opens up the folder. It opens the group. And I'm going to click on that specific campaign I put together, which populates up here. And you can see that default bid is 40. But I manually changed each one myself. I'm going to click add to see what happens. Add extensions, dimensions. I'm going to click on this again. Maybe this. Oh, I'm going to go back. Keywords. Maybe the top one. Here we go. Keywords. I want to go back to keywords. And you can see here, I, I manually did it, each one myself. And these are eligible, so that's good. 70, 50, 50. Now, what's good about this is I'll come back tomorrow or the next day. I'll give it a couple of days. And I'm going to click on this chart, this graph. Why, you see that little graph? It's a bid simulator. It's not available for this keyword. Because I just added it. I just tweaked it. I edited it. And it's telling me to come back in a few days because they will share the statistics with me. So there's so much more to AdWords. And as time goes on and I learn how to use it more, I'll be happy to make more videos. But this should be a good start. This is, this is how you start. Oh, and if you want to do a research, you, you open an AdWords account you don't have to pay anything. If you open an AdWords account and then click on Tools, you can use the Keyword Planner for free. It links you to Google Analytics. 
And there's a lot of free stuff with AdWords. They, they combined it everything and they made it better. They made it easier. You, you sign into one location and you get access to all these free resources that are offered by AdWords. And if you click on Keyword Planner, that's how I start doing my research. That's how I, in the previous video, that's how I started researching. And I search for new keyword and ad group ideas. That's the one I use the most. And there's other choices here. That's up to you. So that's how I do it, folks. And then opportunities. Just giving you an inside view. There aren't any opportunities for your account at this moment. Oh, great. Okay. Go back to campaigns. I'll click on campaigns. Sometimes my computer gets a little stuck, but it's going. And I hope my videos helped you not be so intimidated or afraid and afraid to use AdWords because you can really set it up to get the most bang for your buck, $12.10 a day, and now I really targeted it. I mean, I'm hoping my plan is to get at least 14 days out of the money that I spent on the AdWords. Oh, and I'll be back to create a... AdWords take four video clip to show you the statistics that they give you after my ad plays out for a few days. Okay, see you in the, in the next video clip.